You've probably heard a friend or someone you may know talk about rumors about a roller coaster getting stuck upside down. But is this true? Stay tuned to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My name is Jace, and in today's video, I will be discussing whether it is possible for coasters to get stuck upside down. If you're new here and roller coasters are what you're into, then please consider subscribing for content all about roller coasters. It has been a rumor that has been going around through the general public to the point where most people say it's a fact. But is it true? Sort of. But first, let's talk about why it is not likely for coasters to get stuck upside down. Also, let me know down in the comments if you ever heard someone make up a story about this kind of accident. First, you gotta know this term. Valing is when a train doesn't make it through an element, and it stays in the middle of two elements. Simply, the roller coaster will roll out of the loop. Since most roller coasters rely on gravity for speed, they can't just stop upside down. They will either complete the loop or valley in the middle of the ride. But it's extremely rare for coasters to valley because they're specifically designed to have enough speed to complete the element. Also, there is daily testing on the ride to avoid problems like this. It is more likely for rides to valley between two hills. But with all of that being said, it is still a possibility. It is very, very rare for coasters to get stuck upside down. In fact, it is so rare that there were only four Four incidents that happened. The coasters are Mumbo Jumbo at Flamingoland, X Coaster at Magic Springs, Demon at Six Flags Great America, and a random roller coaster in China. I'm going to go into more detail about the accidents, but first, let me clear up this confusion. The internet went crazy over a coaster called Flying Dinosaur at Universal Studios Japan getting stuck on its lift hill. The media stated that the ride got stuck upside down when actually... <laughs> They didn't. Flying Dinosaur is a flying coaster, which means your seats tilt forward into a prone position before leaving the station. So basically, you ride flying coasters in a Superman position. The coaster got stuck on its lifto, which is a very normal thing to happen, and you'll be okay. But they were not upside down. Basically, they were stuck in this position. So yeah, they were not stuck upside down. The first incident was from Demon at Six Flags Grid America in 1998. The ride is an arrow looper, which is a classic looping coaster. This is probably the most interesting case. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was because of a safety system kicking in due to mechanical failure. Apparently, a guide wheel that runs along the inside of the track separated from the last car's axle, and then a wheel safety system kicked in which prevented the train from derailing. If that sounded confusing, I'm sorry. I don't know how I can make it simpler. But many people doubt that anything like this will happen again. The next incident was from X Coaster at Magic Springs in 2007. This is a special type of coaster called a Mara Shone Sky Loop. This type of coaster has riders going up a vertical lift hill, but eventually, the lift hill turns you upside down, making you hang for a couple of seconds. Like I said earlier, coasters getting stuck on lift hills are very common, but on this occasion, the coaster just happened to stop at that specific place, which got riders stuck upside down. Maybe that's why I don't see a lot of these models built more often. The next incident was from Mumbo Jumbo at Flamingoland in 2007. This type of coaster is an El Loco coaster, meaning there are some tight, crazy turns, weird tracks transitions, and cool hang time. At the time, Mumbo Jumbo was the steepest coaster in the world at 112 degrees. But this time, there was a poncho that fell on the track and messed with the mechanism of the track. But this was good in a way because that was a safety issue. But it just happened to stop on one of the inversions. The last incident was from a random coaster in China. I don't know much about this incident, but I do know that China's safety standards are very low. And that's it. To sum this up, it is possible for coasters to get stuck upside down, but it is very, very rare. So don't go to an amusement park expecting yourself to get stuck upside down on a looping coaster. But I want you to know this. Roller coasters are actually some of the safest things in the world. The chances of you dying or getting injured on a roller coaster are very little. In fact, the chances of you getting injured at an amusement park are 1 in 24 million. And the chances of you dying at an amusement park are 1 in 750 million. So amusement parks are safe places. Don't expect yourself to be in a roller coaster accident. It's more likely for you to die driving to an amusement park than dying at 
the amusement park. And to put it this way, the chances of you getting struck by lightning are 1 in 775,000. So I really want to clear this up for the general public. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please leave a like. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.